On the topic of self-awareness, self-knowledge, knowing thyself, knowing yourself, um, I saw Fede's video, which was a reply to Professor Anton. I watched Professor Anton's video twice, but I, I still couldn't make heads or tails of it. Uh, something is going on there. But on the topic in general, um, I mean, uh, Fede was talking about how difficult it is to see yourself. And I think it's difficult to see everything because there's a bit of your self in everything and then you can't see yourself so you don't even know how yourself is distorting, you know, the appearance of everything. So, I think that it's not particularly hard. I think I've been saying for six years, for example, things uh, of ways to know yourself and people don't even see that it's being attempted to be said to them. They're like, no, you're trying to tell us how to think and what to think. I'm like, no, here's some techniques so you can figure out how you think. Like a major thing that a lot of people could do is just to, to stop assuming they know what they want. People assume they know. You have to try to discover it. And the process of discovering what you want is, is a process of altering and changing and evolving what you want because you'll find that you have conflicting desires. You want to be skinny and beautiful and you want to eat 20 hamburgers a day. What do you really want? You ask that question, it will change those subsidiary wants and desires. So many people are assuming, it's like, no, we have our wants and desires, we're just trying to figure out a way they can be satisfied. Oh, it'll never work. We have to let people rape and pillage in virtual reality because that's what they want and desire. Now, they, you can change your wants and desire. You can change what kind of person you're attracted to. You can change what kind of profession you, you're attracted to and it's not even by I want to be this other way no but just investigate what do you really want you have higher and lower wants you have priorities in your wants it still feels entirely like a process of discovery but the point is what actually floats your boat what you desire to do will change and guess what it happens anyway it happens naturally over time I mean there are a lot of people that have figured out and done this process of discovering what they want and they still don't know that they have altered they don't know how conscious it is and they feel they've discovered, you know, a truer nature as opposed to invented one. Now everything is transformation in this universe, so the fact that your human nature is made out of your potential, that doesn't change its ability to be entirely unique, to be an invention. All inventions are really transforma transformations of materials after all, and this would just be another case of that. People are very confused too because like knowing yourself doesn't mean solving all the problems, no. It just means facing some of the, you know, some of the faults. I, I am good at this. Uh, when people try to insult me, they, I, I, you know, they very rarely get, if they're really trying to do it critically with accuracy, they rarely get something I haven't run into. I mean, I listen to this feedback and I give it to myself. I analyze my own behavior. You can have head checks. You know, if you find yourself, geez, that, I felt like really out of control, that's a head check. Do something about, you know, the feelings that got you to that point. And I do that. So, like, sometimes people's like, oh, will you interrupt, or you this, or you that, or you're intimidating me. I know that. There's reasons. But guess what? When I get together with somebody that's like me in that respect, which I appreciate, we communicate incredibly rapidly. Like, people that can't communicate that way, you can't imagine how high bandwidth the communication can get. I don't have to work three times to go, oh, baby this, and baby you want to baby think that. Oh, are we on the next step yet? I'm sorry, don't take too big a step, you know. If I give it too big a step, the guy goes, wait, what? Come back here, what? You know, I could say anything. And the emotional implications go on the side, and they're, they're not taken immediately to go, oh, you thought what? They're just like, oh, is he, is he kind of having an attitude? And you build that up. And then you can discuss that. Do you have that attitude? And you're like, oh, I see why I created that illusion. Or, yeah, actually, that's what I'm starting to get at. I mean, that is the gist. You know, and you can... Anyway, that's several steps beyond most of you. But it's not that knowing yourself is really hard. And there's all kinds of people telling you how to do it. Um, and it's, it's almost like a known science. You can clearly figure out more about yourself with a wide variety of techniques given on a wide variety of, you know, foundations and it's more that you don't want to know yourself it's more that you already don't like the glimpse of yourself that you caught 